to perform a resection again we'll go to station number seven go down to resection and then it asks for input point one this is your first resection point not the setup not your station setup so then we'll type if you type star it'll show you all the points in your job currently so we're gonna say the first one is working point one Reviewed the coordinates, height of target, I'm going to use 0, enter, and at this stage we're going to sight our target, and when we're ready we can push measure or enter. If you push enter it stores only an angle, so for trig beacons you'd push enter, but for measure 1 we can see that it's done a distance, enter, and now the second resection point. Again, I'm going to push star to see what points are on the job. There we go. Target out stays zero. Measure my point. So in this case, I'm doing a resection with two points using directions and distances. If you push enter, it shows you the calculation and the accuracy of your resection. This one's not particularly good, but it's just for demonstration purposes. From here, you can now also go to add another point, or we can view the current solutions. And when we finished, we'll push record. So to view it, we can see there were two shots, and even from there, we can add and delete. I'm going to record it. Only at this stage does it ask you for the station name. So I'm going to call this one Station 1 and then X because I've already got a Station 1 in the job. Height of target about 1.7 meters. Code and then you could select the backside. So at this stage, our resection is done. If we push the data menu, then we can have a look at what the coordinates were of our station.